Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. This is the first video in my series for 2022 for taking care of cucumber plants. So today is June 4th. These cucumber plants have been growing for uh, a couple of weeks. They're starting to take off with all this heat and rain. First thing that comes to my garden are cucumber beetles. They feed on the leaves of your plant. You're gonna see yellowing, you're gonna see marking on the leaves. You have to take care of them. I wanna talk about insect dusts. That's what this video is about, how to use them. All insect dust, that's the dust that you see on the leaves, will kill all insects, good or bad. That means your pollinators, your bees. It doesn't matter if it's seven dust, which is a human-made chemical. It's a carbamate um, chemical. It doesn't matter if you use spinosad product, like Captain Jack's dead bug dust. That chemical comes from soil bacteria. They blend it together. It kills insects. They both work on the nervous system. However, organic, non-organic, the dust will kill all good insects. You have to remember that organic doesn't mean safe for the good guys. So when you plant cucumbers here in Maryland Zone 7, the cucumber beetle always shows up and that's what they look like. This is the striped cucumber beetle. And you can see they're dead right in the dust. Seven dust works almost immediately affects the nervous system of the beetles that crawl through it or insects that eat it if you're using a spray and they die immediately. My first dusting goes out about now because that's when the cucumber beetles show up and you can see the discoloring on the leaves. That's where they're typically feeding and doing whatever these beetles do. They're going to show up no matter what. You can't really stop them from coming. If you use the spinosad, that will kill the bug in two or three days. You probably won't find them on the leaves, but it is effective. How to use this? So the best way to use this, in my opinion, is to come out late at night, eight o'clock, 8.30, when the pollinators all go in, and you dust the outer leaves. Don't get inside to the stem. Don't get it on the flowers. Keep it on the outer leaves. This is 100% proof that shows you that these cucumber beetles just go everywhere. They're all over the plant crawl through the dust, they die. Now, because you're not putting it on the flowers or the stem near the flowers, you're decreasing the risk of harming the good insects, the pollinators and the bees. It's a little bit late, I'm gonna wash this off now, but try and come out 6.30, 7 in the morning, wash this off. I wanna cut this into the video. This is acorn squash, I have butternut squash right over there. The cucumber beetle shows up there also. You can see one of them are dead. Now there's a little more dusting on here because there's absolutely no flowers forming. So I want to get the insect dusts out early before the flowers are opening, before pollination is going on, and you can really kill off the cucumber beetles that are coming to your garden early and it greatly reduces the problem. And there, up close, the striped cucumber beetle on an acorn squash plant. The beetles will walk through the dust at night and they're going to die off. You could use sprays, the seven spray, or you could use spinosad spray, but you're gonna to have to have that contact, that spray contact the beetle, or they're gonna to have to come and ingest it. Now, you could just spray a couple of leaves, or dust a couple of leaves, leave it on if you want, that's up to you. I like to come and wash it off. I think that, you know, organic labeling is okay. Um, organic gardening is wonderful but respectful use of garden dusts and products is golden. It's really more about how you use them and how you respect them and how you try and protect the good insects. So, to recap, I dust late at night. It kills off the cucumber beetles or the beetles that I'm worried about. I rinse it off in the morning. So how often would I use this? Starting in June, I would probably use it once a week. You don't have to get into the center of the plant. This is the perfect example of a bunch of them coming to one leaf. Look for the leaves that they've been feeding on too, that have the yellow marks. Put some dust on there, keep them away from the flowers. I would do this one or two times when you have an infestation, and then maybe again every seven to 10 days. That will just manage the cucumber beetles down. Come morning, a simple spray, and I just wash everything down. Keep an eye on things, and you can see the damage that the beetles leave behind. There's one of them. We'll give one less close-up 
of the striped cucumber beetle. If you've had them before, they will come back every year and you can see the damage that they do to the leaves. The leaves up top look better. You could just dust the lower leaves. That's where they're going to be active. Use the dust wisely, be it the chemical types or not organic or because they're actually, let me restate that, they're both chemicals. One's considered organic, one's considered non-organic. So use the dusts wisely and they're really effective against the cucumber beetle. Please subscribe. I'll be doing an ongoing series on the care of these plants. Dust doesn't take care of every pest. It's perfect for the cucumber beetle and other crawling insects. Thanks for watching.